I'm so excited because the sky is blue and the birds are singing and it honestly feels like spring is on the way. Like I'm so done with the winter. I am so down for spring to start ASAP. Hey guys, it's Lana here. Welcome back to my channel if you have been here before. Welcome to my channel if you are brand new. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I will be posting videos every single week about hair, beauty, fashion, lifestyle, all of that good stuff. So make sure you don't miss it. And if you really want to, you can even click the bell to make sure you get notifications whenever I I upload. Bumble and Bubble brought out the curl line sometime last year and I was so excited. I've been dying to try their products. I thought to myself, hang on a minute, let me just assess this situation. Can I afford to buy this? Is it going to be good? It can be pretty tough to go into the store and spend that much money on something that you don't even know if it's going to be any good. So I thought to myself, do you know what? I think these guys might like a review video. I asked you on Instagram, you guys said yes. So say thank you to mgh.x, Satin Pages and Paolo Grido. You guys all said that you wanted a Bumble and Bumble review, so let's go ahead and get started. So I actually have these three products. This is the BB Curl Sulfate Free Shampoo, the BB Curl Custom Conditioner, and the BB Curl Defining Cream. So the first item is actually the shampoo. Of course, it's the first item because that's what I'm going to use first. So the shampoo is actually a 250 milliliter bottle, which is more than it looks. It's a nice, good size. It says it's sulfate free, which means it's going to be better for your curls than traditional shampoos. It doesn't say anything about parabens or anything else, but I did have a look through the ingredients and I can't see any parabens listed, but I'm not a scientist and I don't know what all of these chemicals are, so I won't be able to say for sure. And this one is for all curl types. Of course, I was only able to try it on myself and my hair type. Also, I had a look through the directions before I used it, because I always check, because sometimes they don't always work in the way that you would expect them to. So this one just says, massage throughout wet hair and rinse thoroughly. It doesn't say anything about repeating that step, so you don't need to shampoo twice. I like that because it means that I'm going to use less products, I'm going to use less money in the long run. So the first thing that I noticed when I applied this to my head was that it was really thick, like putty. It comes out of the bottle, it looks kind of silky, it has that silk sheen on it like shampoo does. Moving it around my scalp was okay, it was fine, but I did notice how thick and dense it was compared to a lot of other shampoos. It lathered up really, really quickly. I barely had to do any work. The other thing that I noticed is that I had applied too much. Like, you really don't need to use very much of this at all. A little goes a very long way. I had lather everywhere. It was just, it was a lot. Which again is good because it means you're gonna use less product in the long run and you're actually gonna spend less money. So when you think about how much you spent, this has actually lasted you a lot longer and maybe it's kind of balanced out your wallet a little bit. If we're gonna talk about the smell of the shampoo, then it wasn't really anything like noticeable. It had a cle a, a clash, a clash green smell. Ooh. Smell of this was very fresh and clean and slightly sweet. It wasn't anything overbearing. A lot of products that are aimed towards curly girls tend to have really fruity, tropical smells. And then we go away feeling like tropical princesses. But sometimes that can be a little bit overpowering. You know how some shampoos, as soon as you open it, you can smell it. I mean, right now I can't smell anything, but now I can smell something. It's really subtle, which is good. I like that. It did clean my hair with all of that lather. My hair did feel pretty gosh darn stripped of all of its oils and moisture. So, you know, when you use shampoo and your hair can come out feeling straw-like. So I needed to get that conditioner on ASAP. I was really impressed with this because the first thing I noticed with this is that it is three in one. And that's because you can use this as a co-wash or you can use it as a rinse out conditioner or as a leave-in conditioner. And they say that it's completely up to you. There's kind of two ways you can look at that. You can look at it as, oh great, I only needed to buy one product instead of three. So that's great, I'm spending less money. But then you can also look at it as, you're gonna use a lot more of it if you're using it for three different functions. So you're gonna have to buy more of it. So it kind of works out that way. You're probably gonna end up spending as much money as if you had just bought three separate products anyway. I prefer to just have one product on my shelf instead of three. If I can kind of condense down my shelf and just have the least amount of products as possible, then that's what I'm gonna go for. So I'm really happy that this is three in one. Okay, they, I think they messed up a little bit. There's just a tiny thing. This bottle is smaller than the shampoo bottle. It's only 200 milliliters. And that's just not big enough. Bumble and Bumble, that's not big enough for me or any of my curly hair friends. We use a lot of conditioner, especially if you want us to be using it for those three different functions. 
I haven't used this as a co-wash yet, I've only used it along with the shampoo. It doesn't say sulfate free on this, but I had a look through the ingredients again, and I can't see any sulfates or parabens. I'm not sure why it's not specified, because I'm sure like lots more people would buy it if it said clearly sulfate free. So I applied this. You don't need to use very much. I was kind of hoping that a little would go a really, really long way with this as well. It didn't go as far as I hoped it would. I think I did maybe three or four pumps of this throughout my hair, and I have very long hair. So three or four pumps, is not extreme by any length. If you've got shorter hair than me or just uh, maybe less thick hair, then you could probably do one or two pumps of this. So you didn't need to use a crazy amount. It did work really, really well. It worked well as a conditioner. I was able to get a lot of slip, so I was able to detangle my hair and my hair did feel really, really silky. Again, it doesn't have like a really super strong scent, which is really, really nice. And I didn't rinse it out. I just left it in. Didn't use any other products, no oils, anything like that. So now I'm going to move on to the defining cream. The other two said that they were for all curl types. This one just says that it's for waves to ringlets. And when I was in the store, I did see that they also had a mousse. I think they may have a gel as well. So they've got different kinds of styling products for different kinds of curls, which I think is really great. So lots of brands that are branching into curly hair care, they just assume that all curls can be treated with a mousse or all curls can be treated with a gel. But that's not the case. So I thought, you know, they've they've broken the curls down and they recognize that this is for my kind of hair type so hopefully it's gonna work you need to apply this to damp hair my hair was around about 70 to 80 percent dry it says that it creates flexible curls with separation i like that i don't like it when all of my curls club together i don't like that and i also don't like it when i've got a ton of frizz i like to have defined curls and that kind of stuff so i was kind of excited to see what was going to happen with this so i applied this throughout my hair again i didn't feel like i needed to use tons of it the the formula is actually really thick and I'm not sure if this bottle lid is the most suitable. The formula is so thick that it struggles to come out of that tiny little gap. Almost like the Shea Moisture Smoothie, the orange one, I can't remember what it's called. Again, it's got that really subtle scent and it's not too sticky. You know, I don't like it when I am applying a product and it's really, really sticky and it's sticking to my face and it's sticking to my hands and my hands will stick out. You know, it doesn't feel like that. It feels okay. It almost feels like a moisturizer, which is good because I like moisture in my hair. And that was it, that's all I did. Because I was making this review for you guys, I just wanted to use those three products. I didn't use any other products. I didn't use a dryer or anything. I just air dried. And that is another thing that I really like about this product is that it, I feel like it recognizes that us girls with curls, us curly girls, we can't treat our hair in the same way that lots of other people do. So we can't be going around with these blow dryers and styling all of this stuff while we're letting our hair dry. So I really like that Bumble and Bumble has kind of recognized that and what they actually said was air dry or diffuse. I feel like Bumble and Bumble kind of, they get it. They get us, they get the curly girl movement, they know how we care for our hair. They're kind of trying to do what they can here. My hair does take a really long time to air dry, but now it's dry and these are my results. I'm really happy with them. My hair feels moisturized, it doesn't feel dry. My ends don't feel dry, my ends actually look really moisturized which I struggle with because I have quite a lot of colour on parts of my hair, especially towards the end. I had bleach and then I coloured over it, so sometimes it can look really dry if I'm using the wrong kinds of products. I've got a lot of definition all over. I've got a lot of body. My hair doesn't feel way down. It doesn't feel crunchy. I've got no strong smells coming off of my hair. My hair just smells clean. I really like it. I think I will be repurchasing the conditioner, definitely. The defining cream definitely again and I'm not too sure about the shampoo I think about it it did work really well it's sulfate free it lathered up really quickly and I didn't need to use very much next time I use it I'm gonna have to use a tiny amount of it so that's pretty good thinking about it on balance I probably will buy the bumble and bumble shampoo again they are gonna set you back a little bit but they are gonna last you a long time if there is anything else that you guys would like to know about this line that I've forgotten to mention, then just leave me a question down in the comment box. You guys know that I try to reply to as many comments as I can. So if you are growing your hair and you would like to find out some tips on how to grow your hair, then you can check out this playlist right here. And don't forget that you can subscribe by clicking my face right there as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!